What's the worst part about being married while in the military? Not having her there. <laughs> That's my best friend. Don't choose the money, don't choose none of that. Choose the person you like. Yeah, you're really lucky. She's really awesome. You want her? You saw, you saw him try to take her from you? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Romeo. Uh, my partner's name is Marianne. What branch of the military are you in? Army. United States Army. He's in the Navy. He's in the Navy. He is a disabled veteran. Um, I was in during Desert Storm. Are you two married? We are married. How long have you been with your partner? Almost three years. Three years now. And you're, you're getting married, right? Yes. That's the plan. How long have you been dating? Six months. How do you feel? I see a future with Anthony. Why aren't you married? We've only been together for six months. Do people judge you for being with someone who's a vet? Absolutely, and, and they think that you're stupid to put your life on hold and having to, to raise kids by yourself or having to live a life of being married but living on your own. You gotta trust in your marriage. If you're gonna be in the military and you know he's gonna be gone for months, you guys gotta trust each other. Have people judged you for dating someone who's in the Navy? Probably my mom a little bit. She's probably worried because one of her mom's like one of her past relationships, he was in the Navy. My mom has an awful past with sailors, so I tended to stay away from them. He was kind of a fluke. <laughs> What's a common misconception about people being in the military? They think that they're a lot more aggressive. They're carrying a gun or that you kill babies. Being in the military, you got a girl in every port. I hear it all the time from her friends that, oh, are you not worried about him cheating? What do you think she'll say? Probably the same thing. People are like, oh, he's probably out like partying and, you know, probably cheating on you. Have you cheated? No. I Were you worried ever that he would cheat? No, not him. That's why I was down for him to join the military. He's just never been that type of person that wouldn't do anything like that to me. What's the hardest part about being a part? Not having her there. <laughs> That's my best friend. Like, it's a nomadic job. If you're a soldier, you're gonna travel. The stability of having one person who I know is always there for me, always has my back. Something that always sits in like the back of my head, like he could be taken away from me at any moment. I have to go with it and be behind him every step of the way. Don't choose the money, don't choose none of that. Choose, choose the person you like. Yeah, you're really lucky. She's really awesome. You want her? She's mine. <laughs> you, saw that? You, saw, you saw him try to take her from you? <laughs> How's being in the military changed how you interact with people? You see how other people live, and you learn to appreciate what you have and treat diff people differently. So when I see other people, I, I, you know, I try now not to judge them. A lot of people look at him and they go, oh my God, you're, you're fat, you need to lose weight. He failed two stories. And so how much can you think he's gonna be able to go work out and exercise when every time it's just all pain for him? How does being in the Army change how you interact with people? It's made me very anxious around people. Witnessing the physical like, and mental wear and tear that it has on him, it's really hard. You know, I want to be able to take all of that off of him. You, you kind of can't. It's like you're trying to fix something that's broken already. Do you think it, she said it changes how she interacts with people? Uh, yeah, because I'm constantly on her about like security. I am representing him, so if I'm in public and acting a fool, it could be bad on his part. As a vet, what's the best part of having her in your life? She comforts me. I do have PTSD. It was a drowning incident where I almost drowned, and that one is where I wake up screaming. She knows how to calm me down. So I have to wake up and decide, you know, like, do I need to try and go get ice packs, try and reduce the pain, or do I just need to talk him back into to today, right here, right now. It really calms me when she's there. Have people tried to take advantage of you and your partner because he's in the military? Yes. People think we're rich. They hear military, people think, oh, you have money, and it's like, no, it's a regular job. Do you think it makes you a target? Yes. yes. How often would you say you've moved because in the military? Uh, a lot. About six times. How much information do you think is out there because of the amount of times you've relocated? Probably a lot more than I, I'd be comfortable with. Your social security number is pretty much your identification. You probably share it with passing ID. You got to share it with just about every doctor's office. Have you ever experienced identity theft or cybercrime? Yes. Yeah. I lost my bank card. 
He noticed like small amounts kind of just being taken out over time. They overdrafted every day. So it was like an extra 35, 35, 35. He was losing money out of his account. And I want to say it was like over $300. How much did you lose? Around three, four K. She didn't think it was that much. She not supposed to. On the list of all the things that you have to worry about, where does identity theft and cybercrime rank on that list? Somebody taking my identity would be, I mean, it would be pretty high. Definitely in the top five. Top three? Do you know that military personnel are more than twice as likely to experience fraud than other US citizens? Wow. That's pretty high. I would think that they'd be more secured, if anything, but. Does it make you feel more vulnerable? Yeah, of course. Have you heard of Aura? Aura, what is Aura? It's an online safety app uh, that protects everything you and your family do online. Protects your money, protects your passwords, your identity, and more. Does that sound like something you'd want to try out? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, I am absolutely gonna go check it out. If I had something that easy to use, it would be no reason for me not to use it. <laughs> Guess what? You can try it for free if you go to aura.com slash veterans day. That sounds like a bargain <laughs> that I would be willing to take. I definitely will. <laughs> if you're talking about getting married, Having joint accounts. I know. If I'm going to be having a joint account, my freaking identity can be stolen. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah. Do you look forward to Veterans Day? Yeah. yeah. Why? I think it's important to remember the people who've came before me. Thank them for paving the way and letting me have the life I have now.